I was really impressed to see that you had done what I find to be the peak of celebrity journalism, an Us Weekly What's in My Bag. Oh my God, I was so excited about this. This is like, yes. I feel the same way about those. I, I flipped the back immediately to see those. Upset. Yes. Yes. I, spent, I painstakingly put it together. I, I truly was like very obsessed. Well, I'm going to pull it up because I kind of want to talk about it. Um, Lauren, I'm like, the thought that you painstakingly put it together, I just want you to know, it, it matters to us, some of us. Thank yeah. You. Like we feel that work and it, it means a lot. Okay, Lauren, the number one thing that I have to ask you about in the what's in my bag, and Esther is the person that introduced me to this product, Jow hand sanitizer. Best. Talk to us. Okay, Only. so um, that hand sanitizer I learned about from makeup artists because they all have it and their hands smell so good as they're putting makeup on you. And so it, it started to give me like a, just a happy feeling. And then I realized I could buy it, which I had never considered. I just thought like only they have that or something. <laughs> and so I bought it and then Madewell started selling it and so did Anthropology, I think. Um, and that also made it easier to get. And it's just the best. And I've been using it during this time obsessively. Mm. And it's nice because it smells like lavender and most hand sanitizer, especially right now because everyone's making their own version and they're all like gross and bad. Have they're you noticed disgusting. this? disgusting. They have yes. that chocolate smell. Have you guys noticed? Yes. There, I have one that smells like, I don't know, like burning rubber. It's like so gross, but I'm like- They'll also it. like leave your skin dry. Like I just, none of them are working for me. I agree. This one is the best and it's got a really nice- blue bottle mm. and it just feels fancy it feels kind of like you know it's like ten dollars for a fairly small bottle but it lasts you over the long time oh does it ever does it ever and has anyone in the zoom have you ever used jow for one of the alternative uses that it mentions on the bottle off the top of my head it's zit zapper like deodorant underarm deodorizer <laughs> have either of you guys tried that at all I never have, but I always like knowing it's there. Like the <laughs> fact that I'm like, if I'm running around and I realize I forgot deodorant, this is in my bag. That feels yes. Your yes. Okay. This Every time I pull it out, Dave is like, "Jow, it's not just for hands." Like, That's <laughs> one of their tagline. That's what they pay Dave the big bucks for. Okay. <laughs> He's the real freaking deal. Okay, Lauren, talk to me about your super goop glow stick. I was. Very surprised to see of all the super goop products, you went with the glow stick. Well, the glow stick, I have to say, was given to me for free, which is mm. how I got into it. Um, and I like it because you can just swipe it right on. It's like a stick. It's like a, it's just, how did you, it's almost like a deodorant stick, but it's clear. It is. It's a slimy motherfucker. It's yes. Like it's, but it's like matte. It's like weird. Like it makes your skin kind of matte. And I just like how easy it is to put it on. I like a stick. I like that my hands don't get all covered in shit, like when you're squir squirting out a big old glop of sunscreen. Mm -hmm. And it makes me more likely to use it. I'm really bad with sunscreen. And also I thought Super Goop was from Goop, like forever, and then learned like- We all did. We all made that mistake, yeah. I think that's a huge problem. So, I, I, yeah, it's a bit of we a- We struggle with that, yeah. we struggle. It's a bit of a misdirect. Yeah. It made uh, me think it was like way fancier than it was. It still is fancy, but, um, but yeah. We're thinking about another one by them that had a bit of a tint to it, which I didn't know because I bought it on, online at Sephora. And like it came and then I was kind of disappointed by that because I don't really love a tint that I haven't really worked on. You know what I mean? Like finding the exact right match. Was it the mineral sunscreen? Because that one has a bit of a tint. Yeah. And it's supposed to like make your skin kind of like blurred. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which I guess is good, but. For me, blur just is code for it's going to pill on your skin. And right. Sit super weird. Yeah. I haven't been using it, but I do. I still like that other stick. Okay. I mean, I wish we had more time to go through everything in your bag. I'll just say the last thing that caught my eye, the a rosebud salve lip balm, but yes. in like a really weird flavor, tropical. I don't like rose scented stuff. Um, and those balms are really amazing. And I hate rose. So they had other flavors or whatever. And the tropical one is so good. And it's very nourishing for your lips. Wow. Look at